Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some more of the stocks that were in play today. Okay, uh, first up, let's take a look here at, at Twitter. Um, it had a really nice day today. That was a really big move. Um, if you uh, look here, it was up 18% on the day. So, so congrats, everyone. Um, it closed back above the the power zone. It's it's above 70 now. Um, notice how how um, Twitter can get moving. TWTR above 70 in the uh, overbought power zone. So look at pr previous runs down here. And, and, and uh, yeah, so, so breaking back into 70s, a uh, uh, signal of the chart is really building strength and heating up. Um, you've got Fasto back above 80. Um, yeah, and, and so the big the big th development on the chart is the run back to the July high close resistance level, which is right here um, uh, on this candle on the 20th. And, and, and so uh, it, it needs to break that level. It, it's it's at about 2050, and, and if it can close above that level that's going to signal more upside potential if it tops out here and fails to break resistance the candles could work back into the bands and then you have EMA4 down here at 1914 or 1934 notice the close was well above the upper Bollinger Band at 1934 or, or yeah at 1934 and then you've got uh, EMA4 is down here at 1855, the pink line. So, so yeah, this was an island reversal. Notice there was a, a gap here, and then there was a cluster of candles, and then now there's a gap up. So, so this is a big breakout. Um, it has to get above this 2050 resistance zone. That there was a PSAR bull flip. Uh, the the dots are now below the candles. You've got a giant volume spike, and, and there were MACD bull crosses on both time frames, in the 1226 and nine, and the 813 and five. And then check out the big spike on accumulation distribution and, and a big spike on the shaken money flow histogram. So th these are all signals of loading, signals of the start of a new uptrend, and, and the big volume behind the move is 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 what is uh, uh, convincing that this was a, a, a bullish move that could be sustainable. Now, now if you look here on the on the weekly chart, this is the the TWTR uh, weekly chart. Uh, if you look here at RSI, it's at 62. So it's below the 70 uh, overbought power zone so it does have room to run it is at, at a level where it has uh, topped out at in the past so um, yeah if you look here at previous runs um, it, it, it did hit the zone and that was the uh, previous uh, top so it's got to be able to break through this uh, 60 resistance on RSI and get back above 70 that would be really bullish if it could do that um, you know our FASTO is above se above 80 and it's in the overbought power zone um, you've got a, a bullish crossover on ADX. Notice ADX, the black line, is crossing minus DI to the upside. That's a signal the bulls are taking control. So it, there is a nice uptrend going right now on the weekly chart. And, and, and what happened is the uh, 50 week and 100 week moving averages have been turned into support that, down at 17.16 and um, here at uh, 1763 and, and, and so now as long as those levels hold and the middle Bollinger Band currently at, at 1769 that's this dotted purple line then the uptrend is intact and it signals more upside potential uh, th this week's candle is busting through the upper Bollinger Band so it's hitting upper Bollinger Band resistance at 2017 it's going to need to break through that Bollinger Band to head to the next level um, it, 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 if it does pull back you, you want to see EMA4 down here at 1887 hold um, notice that the, you've got the uh, top of this uh, uh, ascending resistance line is lined up here at 22.50 and just above that at 23 is high close resistance which is the September 2016 closing price so 23 is the big target on this chart um, you know it, it, if it can keep the uptrend going it should head to the 22.50 to 23 range it's gonna have to close above that level to head higher um, it's got a nice uptrend going um, it, you know it, it could take a pause hitting this resistance here and if it does as long as support holds the uptrend should continue there's a nice uh, volume spike you've got a, a recent uh, a PSAR bull flip and MACD bull crosses so, th so the chart is, is firing on all cylinders it just has to bust through that upper Bollinger Band and through the July high close resistance level it will be bullish if it closes above the, the third week of July that's this candle right here if it can close above that level then, then that, that would signal more upside potential you want 
want to see that level turn into support. Uh, you want to see uh, TWTR now stay above 20. Okay, let's take a look at CMLS. Th this was the big winner today. It closed up 63%. Um, it, it did have a big pullback. If you look at the upper wick on today's candle, um, notice the long upper wick. So it ran away up here to 1750 and pulled back. It hit resistance from back here in May. This is the high close resistance level. And, and, and uh, it also closed below uh, June uh, resistance. And, and then it pulled all the way back down to the 200 day simple moving average. That's the uh, uh, currently at uh, uh, 0 0.496. And so uh, that 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 right here at 50, basically 50 cents. And so it needs to stay above that level to, to head higher. If you see the share price drop below 50 cents tomorrow, that'll signal that it could possibly consolidate. And then you've got the uh, uh, upper Bollinger Band down here at 41, and the the 100-day um, simple moving average at 40. Those are the first support levels. This gold line, and then you've got EMA4 at three, basically 39 cents. So 39 to 41 is the support level below, and that is the the downside risk if it fails to stay above 50. Notice it closed above July, high close resistance. It, <coughs> it closed above the August uh, 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 high here. And, and so so it, it was a nice, uh, um, you know, it was nice that it closed above some key resistance levels, but the long upper wick signal was profit taking. And, and so it just needs to stay above the 200 day simple moving average and then it could head higher. The next levels to break are going to be back here in May. You know, it's got to break above this uh, 56, 57 level and, and then up here above Above 61 and so if it can close above the high close in in May that's gonna signal it wants to head higher and then you've got uh, the, the the next key uh, simple moving average resistance level to break is the 300 day simple moving average at 95 cents so 95 will be the target to the upside if the 200 day simple moving average can turn into support notice there were uh, bull crosses on MACD on both time frames there's a giant volume spike um, and, and then then you've got the uh, PSR bull flip okay take a look at CGI this is the daily chart here um, yeah it, you know it's overbought on, on our side fast uh, it did have a bull cross here on ADX it's been on a heck of a run okay so so it just formed uh, six uh, white candles in a row and six green volume bars in a row and, and, and today's candle did push well above the upper Bollinger Band so so the, 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 that could be the signal that it might want to cool down for a second before uh, uh, heading to the next level if you look on the chart here um, it, you know there were closes here above the upper Bollinger Band and, and it continued to push higher and that's what bulls want to see now they want to see it continue riding that upper Bollinger Band and, and there, there were several times where there was a close above the upper Bollinger Band and the candles worked back into the bands similar to right here similar to right here it closed above the upper Bollinger Band they worked sideways back into the bands and then the uptrend continued uh, same thing here closed above the upper Bollinger Band you know traded sideways and then it and then it you know got back to that level and pulled back eventually the uptrend continued and once it got notice how there were uh, multiple white candles in a row here and then there was a close above the the upper Bollinger Band it took it took a pause for a day and then the uptrend continued again same thing here it, it broke through that upper Bollinger Band took a pause so so you might see a pause tomorrow it doesn't mean the charts broken it just you know stocks don't always just go straight up um, and, and so the big key on this chart is going to be EMA4 at 689 that, that that's the pink line if you see it close below that level that would be the signal that it could possibly consolidate and then you've got down here you've got the the, the middle Bollinger Band at 584 and, and the 300 day simple moving average at 608 those are really big levels to hold as long as the candles are staying above both those levels the uptrend is intact um, to the upside you can see there's this uh, channel um, you know there's multiple channels here that there's a, a this megaphone type pattern and then and then inside of it it's formed a, a tighter channel and, and the top of the tight channel is up here near ten dollars so so you could see it go up and test that level if the uptrend continues all right if you look here at the weekly chart when a stock is breaking out on the daily chart it's always good to look at the weekly chart to find resistance and, and, and if you notice here it's hitting key resistance right now I, I did want to show you up here on RSI um, it, how it's at 64 so it's not at overbought levels yet it's in the bull zone you've got fast up here at 93 so it's pretty frothy you've got a bull cross here on eight ADX. Notice how the black line's crossing the red line to the upside. Uh, on the a a ADX here, you, you want to have the green line the black line and the red line for for a bullish chart. That's the, the best setup. And so if you uh, <clears throat> look down here, 
this has been on just one heck of a of an uptrend you know really nice uh, 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 move after the low in May you know it bottomed out down near a dollar in May dollar 25 and, and then it, it's just been heading higher ever since and, and so right now it, it's bouncing off the bottom of the channel and, and so it's currently in the middle um, it, it, it hit the, the hundred week simple moving average that's at 729 so this is a huge re resistance level and so it's going to need to close above that and turn it into support to head higher. When it hit the 50 week moving average back here on the second week of September, it, it closed above and held that level and kept going higher. It did pull back. It had to had a test test uh, you know support and then it closed back above last week and that signaled more upside potential. So so many times at a key uh, moving average resistance level like the 100 week moving average, it needs to be uh, tested. The support needs to be tested before it's confirmed and the share price can head higher. That happens sometimes. If it busts above this level and it closes above tomorrow, and, 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 and remember the weekly candle sets on the on the closing bell on Friday, and so if this candle sets above the 100-week moving average, that will signal more upside potential. And then we'll be looking at this previous uh, channel. There, there was a sideways channel for a few months, and, and that'll be the next resistance zone. So we'll need to bust through eight, and then the top is up here near uh, 950 or so, the high close uh, on uh, from January, and. So so yeah, this is a really nice uptrend. This is what we call, uh, you know, it's filling the jar. You know, it, 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 it's filling the jar. It went down and then now it's working its way back up, back to this level. Once it gets to this uh, 950 level, th then the cycle will be complete and then you'll be looking for a new pattern. Okay, let's look at APVO. Okay, so yeah, check it out. It's closed up 10% today. Um, it's got R RSI in the in the 50 to 70 bull zone at 63. Um, <clears throat> Fasto is hitting 80. And so this has got a nice uptrend going as well. Um, n notice uh, it, it bottomed down here in August. It had a big gap up. It pulled back. And when it pulled back, it held the 50-day simple moving average. And it hasn't dropped below that level. So there is a, a big gap on the chart, but it's been heading higher. And, and uh, yeah, it formed another gap on the chart right here. It pulled back and it filled the gap. Held the middle Bollinger Band, held the bottom of this channel, and, and, and then it's been pushing higher. It had a nice break today, uh, breakout today. It had a full Marabuzo candle where, where uh, there's no upper wick and no lower wick on the candle. The the first trade of the day was low of day, and the last trade of the day was high of day. It doesn't get more bullish than that. That just means the bulls were in control the entire day. If you look down here, it wasn't a large volume day, but but that that's a signal that there, there weren't many sellers and the and the bears were not attacking and. So so the big level to break now is this closing price here uh, on the uh, what is that like the fifth of, of October and, and then if uh, and that's lined up with the upper Bollinger Band at 274. If it can bust through those two levels, notice this ascending resistance line is lined up with 310. That will be the target, the next target to the upside. So yeah, and if you look back here in June. This June high close resistance level, there was a close above that level today. So that was a big level to break. So yeah, so this is just signaling that this uptrend's intact. And, and as long as the middle Bollinger Band at uh, 243 is holding, the uptrend should continue. Now, once again, um, I, I, we you know we should look at the weekly chart. And, and this is a chart we've been working on. And, and you can see we posted this last week when there was this uh, big spike. And you can see it ran up here and pulled back. Um, the uptrend is intact on the weekly chart. This is a good uh, longer term swing trade chart. You can see it uh, turned the, 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 it closed above the middle Bollinger Band in the 50 week simple moving average. It took a couple weeks, turned it into support, and it's been heading higher. It's been holding EMAs 4 and 8 support. The, the big level to close above this week is the, the first week of October. If it can close above that level, that will signal more upside potential. Then you have the September high close on deck. You know, this is a big resistance zone, right? Right here. If you can get through that, th then you've got back here the, the 325 uh, uh, level from August, and, and, and then you've got 375 from the close here, and then it could really get moving. So, so keep an eye on APVO. The, the big clues on this chart that this has more upside potential are, are the big volume bars. The volume is signaling that 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 big players loaded. Um, you know they have patience, they have time, they have money, and and so sometimes you just have to let a play develop. Okay, let's look at TRCH. Okay, so this is uh, up 8.6 percent today. We alerted this the last couple of days. It had really low volume. It still is a low volume play. So nobody was really 
paying much attention to it, but it, it's slowly uh, it has uh, you know broken some resistance levels and it's made a nice move here. So it's in the bull zone. It's above 80. Um, notice here we've got the green line above the black and then the red line. You know you got the bullish crossover. So these are all things that that, that are bullish that you like to see. It's on a three-day run here. Um, it's got the big spike. Yesterday there were alerts put out that it was closing above the the 50-day simple moving average in the middle Bollinger Band. And then you know it, I mean there's a lot of moving averages right here. And, and so it did a good job today of busting through the 300 it's, uh, day simple moving average at 130 and the 100 day simple moving average at 133. And so that was a really nice move. And then it hit the 200 day simple moving average at 140. That's this red line here. And, and so that's the top moving average on this chart. If it can close above that level, that's going to be huge. And that's going to signal more upside potential if it can turn it into support. So anytime a stock starts trading above all the moving averages on the daily chart, chart, that's a signal the chart's bullish and that, 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 that it could keep heading higher. And so what we look for if that happens, you've got the July resistance here at about 152, 153 or so. And then you've got the uh, the, the, the 165 high close here in July. And now, now, now the, the, what, what is promising on this chart is notice the red descending resistance line. Okay, this is a month, a multi-month resistance level. It, it, it got broke. There was a break above that today. There was a close above that level. So if the candles do pull back, uh, you want to see that level turn into support and a new trend form off of that, you know, off of that uh, previous resistance level. You want to see it turn into support. On a pullback, you want to see this 300-day simple moving average and 100-day simple moving average turn into support. The candle is hitting the upper Bollinger Band here, so it's going to have to bust through to head higher. The upper Bollinger Band is hooking up nicely and is signaling more upside potential. And then one more one to look at here is SDRL. Okay, so I, I, it, it's just starting to heat up. You know, It's a low-volume play. It's only up 6% today. Um, you keep an eye on it. Breaking above 50 on the RSI. It had a bullish crossover on fast dough. It's now above 20. You want to see it stay above 20. It's not bullish on, on 80X. Okay, so you want to see that heat up. Okay, so so the, the reason why I'm showing you this chart is because it looks like it's setting up. If you look down here at the volume bars, okay, so first check out the volume. Notice it's got very, very light volume. So that's a clue. You know, when it when it ran in September, it had some good volume. So so that it does happen. And, and what we look for is for a volume spike now. We want to see a spike above these previous volume bars, a green one, and, and, and that would signal that 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 it's heating up. And, and, and so basically today there was a close above EMAs 4 and 8. It closed basically right at EMA 8. That's the, the, the line line. And those are the first steps to, to creating a reversal. It's been trading in a tight sideways pattern for the last two weeks. And, and right above here at 30 cents is the 50-day simple moving average in EMA 13. If it can close above 30 cents tomorrow, that's going to be extremely bullish. So keep an eye on it. Um, if it can get back above the middle Bollinger Band at 32, it could get a new uptrend going. Um, it, the 100-day the simple moving average is at 34. Get above that, and, and it could really get running. So so yeah, if you notice back here, you know, it has a history of making uh, big runs. You know, you just want to try to catch it at the start. It's always best to get in on day one if you can. Um, down here, MACD is starting a bullish crossover. It, it, keep in mind, it's always a risk to hold a stock that's forming candles below EMA4 on the daily chart, so it needs to stay above that level to be in play. A drop below 28 would signal, you know, close below that level would signal that it's a risk to hold. Keep an eye on PSAR. Notice how it's at 37 here. Those dots are coming down fast. They're getting ready for a bull flip. Notice what happened on the last bull flip. <clears throat> that was down here. Okay, the dots came down. You had a bull flip, and then that was the, the big run. Okay, yeah, thank you very much for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, you can check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.